tuning in to Chaos Culture Radio. Dropping knowledge in the studio, you already know. Ladies right. and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in to Chaos Culture Radio. This is your boy Prince Hakeem. And you know this is your man Ronnie Ron. Hey, Hakeem, man, where you been at, man? It's been Thanksgiving. It's always about to be Christmas, man. Where you been at? Man, I've been styling, lifestyling, chilling, trying to get this money. And where, where, where you been at, Mustang? Bro, I've been mean, just like you, man. I'm out here, man. And you, you, you forgot, man. It was my birthday the other, the other week. I know. So, you know, yeah. I'm out here I'm partying, having a good time, enjoying life. Just here another year, you know what I'm saying? Definitely, it was a beautiful birthday, too. You know what I mean? Yeah, it was. Awesome birthday, man. Yeah, shout out to Tap 42. But, hey, let's get straight to the point because we got our guest speaker with us. Really? You got a guest speaker? Guest speaker. Man, we got to give him a tremendous in, um, um, interest because this is family. Like, it's very few dudes I can say that family, you know what I mean, who comes from my past, who I know as family who's been one of the solidest dudes ever, never changed, never switched up, always been a hundred. Now, mind you, I'm a little older than him. I'm from a different generation, but he's always, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Stand up guy. You know what I'm saying? And um, I, I don't even know much to say. You know him too. That's your man. That's your oh, man. Really? My man. Why? You know what I'm saying? Oh, he's laughing too. I want to know who gave so that. that so that's what I want you to, I want you to introduce him. No, nah, you gotta introduce this one because you went in on this one. Let That's you know, I'll let you do it. Now, mind you. Hey, I, I wanna know who y'all talking about. Nah, hey, who, who, who. We, we talking about you. My man Hearn. 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 Oh, hey, Hearn, welcome, man. What's going on, Hearn? Good to be here, man. Herman, wow. original 40 boy. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Don't yes, get sir. it twisted. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. How you doing, Herm? Oh, uh, man. Great to be here, man. Finally. Finally. Like, hey, great to have you. You know what I mean? Yes. Man, you know I mean? Great to have you. You know what I mean? We, 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 we want to hear, hear what you, what's on your mind. We got a great topic today. Now, mind you, ladies, fellas, it's about to get real hot in here. You know what I mean? Yes. Especially ladies. If I get in trouble, so be it. You know what I mean? I'm going to warn y'all before this topic goes on. Now, um, you might as well just say it, Ron. What, I'm gonna say it. Yeah, you know, I said for you, I can So you won't, you you won't get the hot seat. Yeah. I take the hot seat on this one. Hey, Herm, this is a serious topic right here. What we want to discuss because you know yeah. a lot of us men, a lot of us men, we talk this among ourselves. But however, we want to let the women know what's on our mind. So the topic is today is has the woman as a black woman, mind you, fell the black man. Oh, man. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Go in. Let's talk about it. Let's go in. Woo. I don't know if they're even ready for that, bro. Because you want to. No, I think we should because, like right now, a lot of women, a damn black woman, has di- has diminished, and nobody's hey. not talking about the issue was at hand. So I think hey, we should be talking about you, right you, now. I, I'm gonna be honest with you. I mentioned this title to somebody and they got mad. And it was like, did somebody hurt you? <laughs> <laughs> they say that somebody hurt you. Then they said, then they said, did your mama fail you? Ooh. I had to step back. I was like, whoa. I said, I got to tell the fellas what's going on. I just told them. Okay. Right. So it. her, give us your insight. What, how do you feel about that? The topic, the topic. Has a black woman failed a black man? Uh, I don't, I don't know if it's a failure yet, but I know it's definitely, definitely hard to, to date a black woman. Uh, as far as, as far as this whole, uh, independent woman or a modern woman, which, whatever you, whichever one you want to call her. Now, Herm, I got to ask you a question. Go ahead. You work at a good job and you make good money. Max, I know where you work at. Uh I know you make good money. So for you to say that, then I need to take a seat down. Because if you make good money, you saying it's hard to date a woman? Then we need to know what's going on in the water. You know what I'm saying? Besides besides that. You know what I mean? What, what, What is your perception on 
the last few chicks that you dated or you maybe just casually talked to, what what's okay. the common theme you see that kind of puts them in a situation? Uh, how can I put it? They say uh, they, they want too much. Let's, let's put it like that. They, Ooh, they, they in want, one way. Want, when you say they want too much, in one way. They want your time and your money. But you got to use your time to make the money, but still they want you to make time for them. It's, it's, it's hard. You try to try to explain it. Plus the job I work at now, of course we have this mandatory overtime. So let's say you set up a date. All of a sudden you got to cancel that date. What I need is understanding. It's not like I'm out there in the street, you know, I just cancel, don't use the, the run around. No, I'm, I'm making this money right here. That's, that's what I cancel for, to make this money. This, I need you to understand this, this money is always going to top this relationship. Let's, let's just put that out there, always. Man, and that's, and that's a fact, though. This money always going to top. But I've always noticed being in many relationships that I don't think a lot of women understand that. Because here's the thing. They thrive and they feed off a of non-sexual attention. They want to sit on the phone all day, which is not a problem. Which is not a problem. I don't want to get cussed out. They want, you to take a, they want you to take them out on dates after you done just paid a bill. So now you got to go dip into that credit card to swipe to take them out. You know what I'm trying to say? And then when you ask for a little, when you ask for some sack, it's a problem. You gotta, you gotta schedule that appointment. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, so, so th th that's what I want to understand. Do these women understand that you you have a professional job? You're not working that Jiffy League. There you go. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like you're not working that Jiffy League. You're not at Walmart. Which brothers, I'm not knocking y'all down because I know y'all have obligations as there too. But has the woman failed you? Has black women failed you? Could we go back in time? And as far as we're going to talk about in dating perspective, as far as how society has turned women to look at men in a different aspect, as far as that, hey, you know I me, mean? they always talking mess about us, but what about you? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Ron, how, how do you see it? I feel like on, uh, with the way that Herman hits the topic, um, the points, when he was talking about how, um, like a black woman, they only focus on those two things, which is the dating part and also the money. They don't really focus on how to build the black man up. What is the black man looking for? So they, they main agenda is to be modernized women, which is only focused on the materialist things. And really you will, really you will find a black woman that actually want to build her black man from the bottom up. Right or wrong? No, 100%. I agree with you. But let me ask you a question. When the last time a black woman made a sacrifice for you? Oh, that 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 that's that's rare. You know what I'm saying? That's very rare. The last time is, you know, I'm gonna say like years ago. But now I, I don't get me wrong. I do date black women. So the one the one who I'm currently dating now, she actually do those things for me. So I'm not gonna lie. It's, it's feels yeah. a good thing to have that. You know Has she made a big sacrifice? Yeah. She made a big sacrifice. Okay, because you know, you know, some of these girls don't like to gamble on men. Yeah, they don't like to gamble, but a, a woman, like a certain black woman, kind of know their space based on, like you always say, a two parent household, or they they surround themselves with like actual women who knows how to, to, to play their role, especially black women that know how to play the role when it comes to the subject of marriage. Mm. Now. With that being said, Herman, I know you, man. You come from a good house. You feel me? Uh -huh. Like, I want to put your business out there, but your mother was solid. Solid. Gotcha. Your mother been, uh, you know what I mean? And your mother's like my mom. Um, Your mother been with your daddy to the end. You feel me? Gotcha. And, um, I just want to just put respect on her name because I always remember that. You feel me? Mm -hmm. I always remember that. My daddy's in a wheelchair. He had a stroke. My mama, my mama was tending him now. 
So she hasn't failed him, her black man. There you go, hold on to that. You, you know what I'm trying to say? So the, the point we're trying to understand, what is the solution for a lot of these women and women? I'm only one man. We're only one man. We're finally telling you now we have these spaces so you can hear what we want. The issue is a lot of these girls don't hear what we want. Yeah, that's the issue. That's the issue because I, I told you because they only know about what they see on the perception on television. Um, you know, the music out now, which you don't really play what man wants. You know, like music back then in the 1960s, even in the 70s, even in the 80s, even, even in the early 90s, even close to the late 2000s, you see like they really focus on what a man wants based on the music they was portraying. But mm -hmm. now since you got music like City Girls and, you know, name goes on and on. Yeah. Um, Fucking on the scamming ass nigga. Wants. Yep. And I know Herman could agree to that, that that's the only thing they focus on. And even the church women too. We're not going to speak too much about the church women. Oh, the, the church, church women indoctrinating the wrong way. Hey, the church women are worse. <laughs> look at the look, look at the girls we had on the last episode. They they say they're never coming back. Yeah, Herman, they say they're never coming back. <laughs> <laughs> you were just trying to tell them the truth, huh? No. I said you can't say you're gonna get somebody, Herman. Keep this. This is another question. Let me ask you: Are you gonna date? Listen, you you have kids, Herman? No. You got a good job. You're making good money. Are you going to take a woman who has three kids? Not at all. You can go get you Not somebody. You can go get you somebody under 25. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Talk about it. You, you see what I'm trying to say? So. <laughs> hey. Go ahead. Go ahead, Herbie. Let's finish the point. Talk about finish it. Point. Yeah, talk, talk about it. That's what I'm saying. I was trying to explain to this girl that she can get her Uber drive. She said, I tried her. I said, you got three kids. You up. I said, you got three kids. So basically, we're not going to get another baby out of you. Um, You got three miles you got to feed, all in different ages. Mind you, I didn't, I didn't even ask the, the important questions, how many baby daddies are there? You know what I mean? Because I'm not going to disrespect her. And then she says she's a Christian woman, and she says she's celibate. She's not fucking to marriage. So you're not gonna get no you're not gonna you're not gonna hit. Plus you gotta feed them. And and you come with a package. Who expect to take a deal that raw? Working backwards. Exactly what it is. She she working backwards. Yeah, no, but not in that room, but sometimes they have the delusion that it doesn't matter if I have two kids, it's because God's gonna send me this man with a six figure. That's what they thinking in their head. Okay, man. I don't know what Bible she reading, but uh, I mean, God said nothing like that. Go ahead, Herm. Go in, man. Go in. Yeah. Man, go in. Hey, and to your point, Wilder. Uh, yeah. What you were saying about right? I'm glad I get a 24 year old. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's see, women want to. They want to marry up all the time. Yep. Us men are the only ones that go out there and get a get a little work in progress, build it build it on up. You better tell her. You better talk about it, Herman. There you go, build it on up to something. Hey, look, look at all your uh your NBA players who's out there found found a little a little something on the on the streets, bring it back to the hotel. Now what? She used the opportunity. Now, now she want all the money. She want all of it. Fool. Check this out. Let, let's be serious. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. How many correctional officers we know dating chicks that work at McDonald's, nigga? <laughs> that work at that work that, that work at Amazon. Let's talk about it, bro. Bro, the, bro, the percentage of that, bro, you already know the percentage. Well, I can't you know when we go in like that. Nah. Bro, I'm, just, I'm just keeping it real. Have these girls gonna be having real job, and I'm talking about on, on our level. On mm -hmm. our level, we're working mm -hmm. men. We're working men. So so it's not like saying me, you, and Herman are going to go talk to a chick that's a lawyer. No, we know better not to. Right. You, you know, unless, right. unless she come talk to us. But I said this before. 
when we go holler at chicks, we don't we rarely ask where they work at because we know we ain't gonna get their money. We don't yeah. ask, we don't ask what school she graduated from because that's really not the point because we know we gotta pay for everything. Am I am I wrong? Facts. Not at all. So 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 there's some things I want to say and I want y'all I need y'all boys to pin because I'm about to go in on that. I'm about to give. I'm about to give. I'm about to give. I'm about to give somebody. I'm about to give them the tabernacle. I'm gonna take them to church, Herman. I'm gonna take them to church. Go ahead. Have a bottle ready. Let's go. Let's go. Go ahead. Check this out. I'm gonna tell you where. I'm gonna tell you where black women fail black men, and and I'm only gonna speak from my my opinion. Don't let my opinion affect Herm or Ron, ladies. If you get mad, you get mad. One, growing up in the 90s, I've noticed one clear thing. The obsession with money with a lot of you women. You In, in, in a lot of you women in, in, in look average as best. You want, you look average as best. Your hair color looks like Walmart. A lot of y'all are, are spending $400, $500 weed. You're not going to get a lawyer. You're not going to get a doctor. At most, you can get somebody at Publix Warehouse. Just being honest. Another mm. thing is, you're on Section 8, you're on public housing, and you and you tell us for us to get our game up and talk smack about us when we live with our mamas, but you go fuck a nigga who live with his wife. Mm. Okay, I'm not done yet. You get degrees. A lot of y'all get degrees. You go to Miami Dade, you go to Broward, you go to FIU, you go to these places, then come back and tell us that I need somebody who's educated when all you is is a glorified payroll specialist. Mm. Mm. You know what I mean? You go get an MBA, you, you go get your, 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 your you, you go get your MA, and, and, and you're working at the driver's license office. But you got on your Facebook that I got these degrees, these degrees with $120,000 debt saying you independent. Is that an investment? Damn. Let me ask you a question. Is that an investment for men like us who has less than $10,000 worth of debt on our name? No. Who credit scores, listen, who credit scores over 700 for a lot of you girls. You barely can co-sign cars. Some of you hoes barely can even get a car paying an interest rate at 15%. Hmm. When you come to me, you come to Ron, you come to Herman, you come with debt. You went to Corinthian University, becoming a medical assistant. You, you got 14000 on your head. 15000 30000 What are you trying to tell me? Yes, you failed me. I need to ask y'all brothers this. Herman, Ron, and anybody else who want to comment, drop, in the, drop the link in the description. Where do you feel people feel? Like, hey, I'm not picking on nobody. I just want to know. Am I talking smack? Listen, you rarely, this is the first time you rarely ever hear men talk about women. I'm not saying, listen, we love black women. Listen, we want to be with black women. We want to right. marry them. Because you want to know why? When you come home from work and your boss stress you, the only person who's going to understand you is your queen. Sometimes right. she know how to scratch that itch. There's good days and bad days. But right now, me, Ron, and Herman should have been married by now. Mm. I'm, near, I'm, I'm just keeping it real. I'm damn near, near 40. We, 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 all, we all three don't got no kids. Statistically, 53% of black men have no kids and middle class. It's a, it's, it's, it's a pool of black men ready to get married, but you hoes want to level up. Mm. You got Herman quiet on this one, bro. Hey, hey, I gotta let the man go. He, yeah, he, yeah. He, no, but I want to hear your opinion. Talk to me. What, what, what's your opinion about this? What have you seen? I'm telling you from a person who, you know, if I'm damn near 40. I've been working all my life. Mm -hmm. I got a degree. You know what I'm saying? They say, shit, you, you, you was fortunate enough to go get a, a real good job. I wish I was in your position. So, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, Ron always worked. Everybody was. Yeah. My thing is, I need y'all brothers to explain to me 
what what I'm voicing and what's your opinion on it? Mm. Wait, wait, um, go ahead, Herman. I mean, you first. can go first. No, no, you, you got it. You got it. You got it. No, my opinion on that, he's speaking a lot of true facts, but um, because he's bringing in the statistics and not only that, but you can actually see because the women, like I like I said, stated earlier, a lot of the women is not doing what they're supposed to be doing, especially the black woman, because a black woman, her job is to be submissive to her man, not only that, but her job is also to feed her man. The more she feed her man to knowledge, the more the man creates the, the, uh, the wealth for her. But instead, it's the opposite way. The way the, the black woman is thinking now, they're thinking like, "Oh, the man should already have the bag." No, you, 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 you to help me. You supposed to help me come with an understandable reason so I can gain this wealth, so I can take care of you. Fact. Well, most, well, most of the women don't think like that. I can and, and um, Herman in this generation, this generation of black women is lost, mm -hmm. misguided. Miss uh, unconfused, unconf don't have no form of uh, mentorship when it comes to other women that been older than them that trying to school them how to date a black man. They don't want to listen. Like Shazza Allah Ali, who is a who is the queen of how to submit yourself to a black man, and she's also described in the Nation of Islam. Come oh, on, yeah. now. shout outs to them. Shout outs to them. Go ahead, Herman. You can speak your thoughts on that, man. Nah, I'm just gonna throw a quick story out there. <laughs> no, no, go quick ahead. Story. Quick story that threw me back. Um, I was I was uh, trying to holler at this chick at work, and she she wound up telling me long story short. She wound up telling me if I was to lose weight, uh, she would be interested. Now I know this chick personally. This chick got two kids pushing forty. Mm -hmm. how, how dare you? <laughs> want me to get in better shape when, when you already you, you can't you can't take them two kids back basically <laughs> you can't you can't take them back and, and, but you 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 forgot what, how much how many kids did she have how, how much she did how much she did she, did she weigh well she oh i mean it's about oh uh, damn near 200 okay so so she's overweight as well and telling you to lose weight this is the issue right. that we have this, this, no, no, no. I'm, I'm being in. This is the issue. Go you're ahead. not the listen. You're not the first one that happened to. I got plenty of hoes who come at me with that. Huh? Well, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, talk about it. You know, you, you, you know what I'm saying. And, and, and this is the point where. This is the point where, you have a lot of women who, and, and he, he, here's what's gonna happen, Herman. I'm gonna just be totally honest with you. Mm -hmm. When she hit 41, or she hit 42. She's going to call back calling you because you want to know why? Nobody's going to marry her with her two kids. There you go. I'm going to just be honest with you. Facts. Facts. I can't. Nobody, and mind you, she with two kids at, at 200 pounds, the dating market is going to be very, very rough for you. Now, mind you, I'm about to say something disrespectful here. You actually did her a favor by talking to her. The problem is this is another thing about men that a lot of women don't understand. We're not as shallow as a lot of you women are. We're not as shallow. Listen, we take them. We take the blunt of the jokes with some of the chicks we bring around. Yeah, yeah, that's true. You know what I mean? I remember vividly growing up and at a pattern. I had an Uga monster one time, and niggas was like, "I don't <laughs> I'm sick. I'm sick of Hakeem, man. I can't even be wildin'. No, listen, 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 listen. This one, this one was damn near two hundred mismatching clothes. You know what I'm trying to say? Sweating out her weave, her weave was falling off. I'm holding hands, walking up the block. <laughs> niggas, niggas, niggas ran me out of twelve. Niggas ran me out of um twelve, um, um seventeen. I'll say I'll say I came, man. I give you. Where you going with that? You're not I going to cook. You're not going to cook. I give you wallet, bro. No. <laughs> niggas, is, niggas is like, you're not going to cook town with that. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about we we men we far have far from being shallow. Now don't get me twisted. Men who get money, if you got money, 
and you're making money, yes, we're going to pick and choose the type of woman we can because we can. You know what I'm trying to say? We can do that. But the problem is, at this level of the game, you know what I mean, sometimes you have to you have to pick and choose your battles, man, and stop pointing fingers because let me tell you something. You get to the point where you want to get, you're not even looking at somebody like a homie. So I, I definitely understand that. <laughs> I give you wallet, boy. Oh no, no, no. But you, but you, I told you, you, you stated a lot of facts. You know what I'm saying? Because um, a lot of these women don't. Un- they're very delusional now. A lot of our sisters are delusional. I can't. They are delusional. No, they are. Um, and and because the point I want to get is where they getting their information from. Mm. Good like, point. I, I answer that they, question for me. It got to be other bitter women. That's exactly what it get like that. Facts. That's facts, Herman. They do. They got other bitter women around them. That's what they. They're exactly what they get. Yeah, but 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 why are they always pointing the fingers and say that we're the problem? Right. They say we're the ones that are little boys. We're the ones that don't want to commit. We're the ones that have the issue. We're the ones that are not doing what it takes to have a good woman on your team. Okay, that's no problem. We'll take your advice at he. Okay, I go get my money up. I go get this, but I don't want to date you anymore because I could just go get somebody younger and prettier and, and faster. And, and one thing, let's get something straight. You listening? Yeah, I'm listening. The older you get, the more attractive you are to younger women. You know that? Yes, correct. This is something. Correct. This is something that a lot of women don't understand. The older we get, the more attractive we become to younger women. And 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 mind you, like I was, there's this girl who at my job, she's pregnant and she's pregnant from. She's only 19, pregnant from a dude that's 40. But one thing I loved about one thing I loved about her, I, I wanted to bring her up in this conversation, because she was telling the other girls in the room. She said, "Hey, girl." Uh, my girl work. He, she said, "My man work at maintenance. I love the hell. You know, I love the hell out of him." He said, "I ain't trying to give you no dope boy. No, I got to do work at maintenance. We live together. He wash, he cook, he feed me." I looked at her and I said, "Girl, you're gonna have a." I said, "Girl, you're gonna have a good life." Because you want to know why she assessed herself correctly in the dating market. You feel me? There you go. Mm-hmm. There you go. You know what I mean? She got her a regular dude, working a regular job. She was a regular female. She wasn't a dime. Let's be honest about it. Girls who was nine and tens was getting married and pregnant by ninth grade, by, by tenth grade. They stopped coming to school. Most of the bad chicks we grew up with got married off by that time. Am I wrong? Well, that's true. You tell the truth. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, you know what I mean? I, I'm talking about like I can name some like the gold wires and all them. The the the, the 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 bad the 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 batter ones, the ones whose body was already stocked up like like a stripper at, at at that age, they was already getting snatched up by dope boys. You know what I'm trying to so, say? Huh? So I can't. So what you? So what is the what is the solution for these black women to get it? To be honest with you, there is. To be honest with you, the solution is for them to assess themselves correctly, humble yourself, come. Come down from that shit. Come down from outer space and talk to men who are real. Start listening to men. Start listening to what we want, what we need. You know what I'm trying to say? Is not, we're not asking for much. We're not asking for much. We know, we're not asking you to, 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 to do a handstand. Another thing is women need to hang around realistic women who are in healthy relationships. Seek therapy. You need therapy because a lot of these girls... Bro, by the time they get to us, they done been ran through, had a couple bodies, a couple lesbian relationships, and you know what I mean? They expect for you to be like, hey, I'm ready for you to take me now. Yeah. Ain't that crazy? Yeah. That's crazy. Nah, Think about like, that. No, I know exactly what you're talking about, man. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about. I've been through that, Herman. You you know somebody, you don't know she done been gay today. Was fucking with this dude, fucking with that dude, and then she expect for you to take the leftovers. Nah, baby, that's leftover meatloaf. That's I true. can't heat that up. 
I'm going to get gas. <laughs> I ain't got time for Hakeem, man. No, for real. I mess around. You get a hot burn with that, bro. <laughs> no, think about it. Think about it. This is what I'm saying. I just gave the blueprint to what it is. Because let me tell you something. Us men, let's be honest about it. We could pull up at Dunkin' Donuts, get a coffee, and if the girl's nice enough, you might talk to her. Hey, what's up? What's your name? Yeah. Thank you. you know what I mean? Right You're not looking down at her for working at Dunkin' Donuts, are you? Right. No. You don't care if she lived with her mama or shared a room with her sister at 30. Sometimes we be so forgiving, we taking these, we, we be talking to girls in the most dire situations, living in the poking beans, three kids. She's wearing socks with sandals. She's coming out with a, with a bonnet. We don't judge her for that. We still a holler. But she'll judge you for working at Walmart. She'll ask you, hey, you ain't get a promotion yet at your job? I sure do. You know what I mean? She'll be like, damn, you working at damn, you working at the warehouse? Like, you're not going to go back to school? What if that's not for me, ma? What if I'm making good money where I'm at right now? But I, I will tell you, it's a woman. I will tell you, it's a woman's job to support her man, especially the black woman. Definitely, but here's the thing: black women want you to make sacrifices for them and not for you. No. Oh, that's not how it runs, bro. It that's not how it runs. But I could tell you, try them. Try them, and you can see how long she's gonna make it. Try to. I'll give you a scenario. You might know what I'm talking about. Let's say if your girl live in another state. Ask her to move here. Ask her to move here. Say, hey, I got the money. I'm gonna take care of you until you get on your feet. Level up. Come on. Come move here. Follow me. Mm. She should do that. Mm. Good point. She should do that because you want to know why she. Your needs don't mean nothing to her. My bad, Herman. What you was gonna say? No, nah, I was asking that all along. Did he disagree with what you were saying? So you agree? Were you asking me? Or are you asking? Yeah. What? What? what what's the question you asking me? No, I was asking were you were you disagreeing with what he was saying? Yeah, yeah. Because the thing is, because the thing is, um, because is uh, because um, most of the time. A lot of a lot of black men feel like you gotta uh, at least try to compromise with them. Okay, compromise. When you say compromise, here's the thing: you're getting the shitty end out the stick. Mm, okay. Think about this. They already put in your head that you're gonna have to pay for at least eighty to ninety percent of the bills, and they don't care where you get the money from. You don't have time to be on. You don't have time to be a day off boyfriend or a day off husband. There's no such thing as a day off for you. You can be uh, fresh out of... Huh? Go ahead, Herman. No, I, I'm, I'm just backing you up. I'm beating you with the A-man. Go, go ahead. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I got you. you know what I'm talking about. Hey, you could be tired just off of work. Hey, I need you to go up the stove for me. They don't care okay. about that. Wait until you get into a house with some... I've lived with women before. They could be home all day and say, I'm tired. I need you to go up the stove for me. When it's time for you to ask to sacrifice for them, they say, hey, I need you to do this. You ready to do this? Let me tell you something. You want to know why I broke up with one of my girlfriends one time? Okay. I was 20. I was 25. At, I was 25 at one time. I had my own place. I had my own vehicle. I was running a business. This was in out of state. My girl was spending the night, 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 every night. Matter of fact, her clothes was in my cl- She had more clothes in my closet than her. Now, mind you, mind you, she ain't had no job. I was paying for a cell phone. But this at time I'm working a job and I got a business. So I goes and tells her, I say, hey, check this out. Man, you've been, you rocking out with me for damn near six, seven months. Let's take this to the next level. I'm hitting you raw. You feel me? I'm fucking mm-hmm. you raw and shit like that. You cooking breakfast. You staying here after night. You got keys to the place. 
get off your mama. I said, get off your mama section eight. And let's do this. Oh, I can't do that. I can't do that. I need to make sure I got somewhere else to stay. I said, I'm telling you to come with me. We're going to go on another journey. Mm. So for the potential to her losing her section eight to just start off fresh, she had somebody, she said she couldn't depend on that. I subsequently left her. Mm. And still to this day, she's not married. Damn. I'm almost 40. That was when I was 25. She's with a, listen, she's with a dude now that has yet to put a ring on. You have to, when you say compromise, we've already made the compromise. We've already willing to do that. Let me tell you something. Men go out there and fight wars potentially never coming home who gets the checks who gets the checks back home <laughs> you go out every day working potentially you can f mess around and mess up your back you don't think nothing about that you say i got kids i got a girl at home i gotta make sure shit's straight so you ask her what she's willing to lose because let me tell you something whatever she's doing this it, it might not be it might not be is she ain't no brain surgeon is she Is she, is she ain't no, no brain surgeon. She, she ain't she, no she lawyer. Know, she ain't no brain surgeon. Uh, I, I understand. Think, uh, I, I understand that. But this is what I'm trying to say: is if a person's not willing to make sacrifice for you, why are you willing to go? Why are you willing to go hell and back for? You need to think about that. You need to think about that. You need to eat that, and you need to review on that. Yes, if a man finds a woman, he finds a good thing. What if the woman, being a helpmate, is willing to follow, willing to be cooperative, willing to be submissive? And that means that giving up your family to leave with that man so you can start off what you got going on. Most women ain't willing to do that. Most Caribbean women ain't willing to do that. Especially mo most black women, women, she'll be like, I'm not leaving my mama. We're moving right down the street where she at. Yeah, you hit a lot of good points. A lot of key points here. Think about that. Yo, you don't run the house. Her mama run your house, nigga. She know what's shaking and moving in there. And then if her mama need $200, she's withdrawing it out your joint account. Wow, real talk, though. That's real talk. You got to think about that. And I'm only telling you shit that I went through. You know what I'm trying to say? This is the reason why I'm not married to this day. Because you want to know why women are not willing to make sacrifices for you when you're going to have to do majority of the work. Tell me, tell me if I'm wrong about that. No, you're right. If I got to pay the whole rent, shouldn't I dictate where we live? Huh? Only right. If you got to go to work, Herman, every single day, and you working 12, 12, you work one of them jobs where you working 12, 13, 14 hours a day. Sometimes you come home, you you sleep. You don't hear nobody telling you no lip about no fucking date. No lip. And, you, and, and mind you, she's sitting around here eating and, and enjoying the an electricity that you paying for. Yeah, okay. What we got, tell me what we got to talk about. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. Go ahead. I said feelings. That's it. Feelings got hurt. That's that's all that is. Yeah. That's all that is. You know what I mean? So 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 I don't want I don't want women to listen to this and think that we're looking for slaves. That's far from the point. We're looking for maids. That's far from the point. Please listen to the whole podcast. We want you to have your own mind. We're willing to compromise. But you got to understand, you have to be willing to make sacrifices for us. And giving us some pussy is not there. Letting us skin in you raw is not a sacrifice. That's not a sacrifice, to be honest with you. You know what I'm trying to say? Because we have to pay for that. We have to sacrifice 
years of earnings. You got to make sure you straight and stuff like that. You know what I mean? We don't actually enjoy our money. The woman does. But they say you're supposed to be happy that you make her happy. But you're funneling thousands of dollars to make sure she's okay. That's why I say a man needs to know what they get themselves into before they make any investment. If you can't get no baby out in no situation or a woman to be submissive or cooperative, keep your money in your pocket. Okay. If a woman's not willing to, to go the length that you're willing to go the length, fuck it, it's not even worth it. All you're doing is wasting time. Yo, I'm, I'm about to be 40 right now. I'm about to be 40. And I'm going to keep something in you. A woman has to come correct for me to take a leap of faith to do something serious. You know what I'm trying to say? You need to show me what's cracking. Because I just, I can offer you something that most men is not going to give you. Loyalty and consistency. And that's all I got to say on it. I don't want y'all, y'all don't let me go into a rant. Y'all brothers got to talk. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, real quick, I wanted to touch on something you said in one of your, your uh, podcasts. Uh, yeah. You, uh, you were talking to a young lady and you was telling her that you would take cooperation over looks. 100%. And, Woo. And, and I agree with you 100%. Touch on that. Mm-hmm. Man, a, a, a peaceful home is a happy home. What, 100%. Happy listen, home. how many, how, listen, how many skinny dudes you see with fat girls now? <laughs> There you go. Talk about it, man. Talk about it. How many dudes hey, you I, see? A, yeah. I done seen so many skinny dudes turn into big niggas. Basically. They, they, they got with the right one. Basically. Come on. I had a dude look at me. I had a dude look at me funny um early this morning because I was looking at his pepper. I had a dude look at me funny this morning because I was like, damn, her ass was big. She was a big girl, too. It's a, this was a dude, buck, buck 50 soaking wet. He looked at me like, you know that's mine. You know that's mine. Right, right. No, for real. Yeah, so so, so to, reiterate what, to reiterate what you asked me, for a long time, People were shitting on certain people that looked a certain kind of way. You feel me? There you go. Until they start to figure out, like, damn, hold on a minute. When dudes started getting with big girls, especially a lot of skinny women, and this is why women won't date other men of other sizes, because they can get them a skinny nigga anyway, because they've been taking up most of the most of the inventory. <laughs> she gonna cook, she gonna clean, she gonna give you her debit card, and she gonna let you ride her car. She's going to help you. She's going to help. I, I had a homeboy one time. She done helped this dude, dressed him, got him clothes, drove him to the job interview, and helped him get a job. Yes, he was a, huh? I think, yes, sir, I agree. You know what I mean? He was a buck, buck 50 soaking wet. She was about two, 300 pounds. He's still with her to this day. He's still with her to this day. I could tell you about another dude who I met in North Carolina. He went moved out of state with a pepper. Another dude who I met in New York renting a car to him. Did he met a pepper who was in the church, got him cleaned off of drugs. They had a baby, and he has to pray every night. He said, It's annoying, but where I'm going. So, 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 you know what I mean? That, that, that's my opinion on that. Okay. Ron, what, 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 what's your opinion? My my opinion about the whole thing is that why I, that why I keep saying that most of the women that there is there is black women that are like that is able to take care of a man like that, able to feed into them, invest in them, because they, they understand the long term haul. If I invest in this person, then I know at the end result is going to benefit me at the end. But the problem is with these women today is they're not taught that. They've been indoctrinated with the wrong information. That's why I'm saying that 
most of these women now don't even have a mentor they can go to and talk to them like, hey, you know, what is the best way for me to do in this dating market? Because women don't understand the value that at a certain age, but by the time they hit the age of 40, their value start going down dramatically. You know, you, you should say after 35. 35. Yeah, you, you're right, Kane. At 35, I can 35. So that being the case is women got to start working hard right now. 100 the problem is they listen to all these women and watching all these shows, the Real House, the Real Housewife of Atlanta, Orlando, and all these different shows, and they see the black women on there being this type of way. So they think, oh, that's how you're supposed to treat a man, and that's a uh, hell no, not supposed to treat a man like that. And it's kind of funny too, uh, Hakeem and um and Herman, that most of these women, black women, are in church. So my question is, what is the church teaching them? They ain't teaching nothing good because 90% of them come back pregnant every Sunday. Damn. Talk about it. That's a hard, that's what you just said. That's a hard statement. A lot of women going to kill you for that. You're going to get crucified. Oh, but it's true. How many, listen, 90% of black women go to church. 90%. Yeah, that's a fact. And, and yeah. listen, and what's the percentage of un unmarried black women in America? Woo! Right now, the percentage actually went higher because now since this interracial dating started, uh, it been started, but since it got more and more um, popular, it went down to like, what, 60% now? Went up 60%? Okay, if, not, if, if a lot of black women go to church, most of them are single moms, a lot of them are unmarried. Correct. So the percentage of that it means that most of them are gonna die alone. Correct. Facts. In the teens, they're getting pregnant too. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, they just Correct. setting themselves up for but Ron, Herman, let's get something clearly for people who are listening. When Ron said you're gonna die alone, he's he's meaning that he's meaning that definitively, but you can change that if you change the way you think. And get you a regular guy. Facts. That's all we gotta say. Stop overlooking the guy who work at Walmart or the guy who's washing the cars at at at, at Avis or the guy who's changing your oil at Jiffy Loop. Assess yourself correctly in the dating market. Facts. You speaking facts, okay? I'm talking You're about facts. Yeah, listen. In the sixties and the seventies. Half these girls that we see running around would have been married by now. Yes. That's very much true. You know what I'm saying? And, right. and mind you, I came, and that was during the time of the Jim Crow laws. Oh, think about it. You wasn't hearing a lot of women out on the streets. Um, Kids wasn't being fed. A lot of kids knew who their daddy was at that time. Yep. Yep. You know what I mean? A lot of these dudes was not playing around. And matter of fact, here's the funny thing was, you had a lot of single moms back then, not baby mamas. So you know what? It was easier for another man to come in and scoop up and pick up when a dude left off at. Oh, your dude died? You was with you, you only had one oh, you had three kids from this one dude? Okay. So you wasn't out here really playing. So you was in a serious relationship. I could come in and pick off where he left off. Yes. You know what You're right. Saying? Now I'm going to say this is my last point, and I want to get this out, and, and I know it's going to hurt a lot of people's feelings. Go on. Just to, just to put this correctly, for a, black, for a black man in America who does not have any kids, women, the only, the biggest value you have for him is for you to be able to birth children. If you can't, you're not even in the race. If a man who has kids, sometimes it can go 50-50. He's going to want a woman who can still birth kids, but he can be okay with you not being able to give him no kids. I'm just giving you facts. So if you know there's certain things that you cannot provide a man, assess yourself correctly. Know, know, know what your potential is, what you're able to get. 
Me, I understand my potential and know my worth. And I know not to shoot for shit I can't get. I'm not going to go to Miami Jackson Hospital and go talk to one of the baddest doctors over there or talk to a Haitian chick who's a lawyer or MD. I'm not stupid. Mm. You know what I'm trying to say? So I'm just giving that point out because you have a lot of women who have kids and think they can get a dude with no kids. You're not going to be able to give him any children. And I'm going to be honest with you. Your womb is the most prized possession for men who do not have kids and men who have kids. So that's what I'm saying. So that, that, that that's my last point on that. You know what I mean? My last point, my last point, kind of feedback off your last point. If a woman don't get it together, she is going to die alone. Um, Women, black women, who I'm talking to now, the white women are winning because they're going to seminars, they're going to school, and they talk, they, learn, they have mentors who they go see to learn how to get us. But I mean us being black men. Um, Black men is getting tired of the women not doing, not understanding her role as a female, trying to dictate what us, want us to do and how to do it. Baby, at the end of the day, you put the fall of my lead. Um, I pray for the day a black woman would get it. If we could go back to like the way it was in the sixties, in the forties, and fifties, um, build up that family structure with the black woman. And black women, keep it in mind, we do want to date you, we do want to marry you, we do want to. We produce with you, but you got to come on our side. Go ahead, Herman. Final note. Uh, final note. I'm going to touch on this. Uh, what Robert was talking about. Uh, evaluate yourself correctly. Listen. Preach. If you're not willing to do certain things in a relationship that you and you know you're not willing to do it, that's fine. You just put all that up front. If you're not willing to cook, clean, iron clothes. That's, that's perfectly fine, but just deduct that from yourself. Those those are minus marks right there. Woo! Yeah. When, when, you, when you can go, when you can go. This is this is why they this is why they lose. So when you can go outside your race and get you somebody that don't speak no English, and they they do all that, the cooking and cleaning, you get your meal on the table a certain time all the time. You ain't got to beg nobody for no sex. This is why they losing right there. Oh. Okay. I'm, I'm done with it. I'm done with it right there. Yo, it's, it's, fu- it's funny. I just want to put this last point, and you got a point with what you said and what yeah. you said. I know a guy. Y'all might know him too. He's from he's from he's from on our way. He's from I don't know if he's from Brown Sub or he's from Matapata. But he's he's black and he's like seven foot. You know what I'm talking about? He's really, really tall and he's a bouncer. Now mind you. Real cool black, real cool black guy. He's from the hood, just like all of us. Mm-hmm. She would not fuck with him. Chicks would not holler at him. He was a big, he was a fat dude. And he was like seven foot. Now, mind you, as he getting older, he gets with a white girl. People started tripping. Wow. I'm talking about nobody ain't want him. None of the chicks who 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 hair looked like Walmart wanted to holler at him. Mm. And, and the chick he got, she was a buck. She was a buck, a buck fifty. And I'm like, how you get that? What you? That's what I'm saying. What you don't want is somebody else's treasure. And that's all I gotta right. say on that, bro. That's it, bro. That's a, that's the real talk right there, man. Yeah. I told you the black women don't understand that. Uh-huh. Uh, is it because they've been indoctrinated the wrong way? That's why I keep bringing up indoctrination because when a woman hear this podcast, they're gonna be like. Why you keep being on indoctrination? Because you have to change the way you think. Basically, if you want to be able to survive. Yes. Because it's getting rough out here. It is. And on that note, KO Coastal Radio, Hakeem. We out. Peace. Peace. Man, I just appreciate y'all just listening. Stay tuned for the next episode.